another week to get things going. It's gonna be a good week. Good morning, friends. T. Greer, it is May 9th, I believe, and uh, we need to make an agreement together. And by we, I mean me. Like, I made a couple of these videos, and I had an intention of doing them every day, even if I wasn't doing a full exercise routine for accountability. And then I doubted myself, and I was like, well, you're gonna have some time off, and that sort of thing. And these videos are not, they're for me, meaning that they hold me accountable. So if I've gotta make a video, <clears throat> even if it's not very good quality, uh, that it keeps me like, well, what am I gonna do? Am I, in other words, uh, am I gonna be honest with myself? Am I gonna eat a brownie on Saturday night when I'm over at a friend's house because we just had a little dinner party and they don't know I'm doing these accountability accountability videos, but I need to, um, I need to keep myself accountable, right? <clears throat> so, not that I would take a video of me eating the brownie. The point is, if I did a video throughout the day of like, hey, I'm on track, it keeps it front of mind, and then therefore, when I post, I might not post the weekend videos until Monday and do them all on Sunday night or something, you know. So the agreement is not that I'm gonna post every single day, but is that I record even something as a couple of minutes to let you know I'm still in the game with my head. I, the, I put together a Google Sheet just tracking my basics of like what I'm doing and with a link to the other videos and that sort of thing. Uh, but but <clears throat> I'll get into uh, how I'm trying to, what my plan is and, um, and all of that at some later date. But today is Monday and uh, in short, my workout schedule Monday through Friday is morning swim at my neighborhood pool that you, that you saw. It's open from six to nine every single day. Well, not Saturday and Sunday, but, but Monday through Friday, it's open six to nine, and I swim for between 10 and 15 minutes. So sometimes, you know, uh, just depending upon how I'm feeling. Then work, and then around five or six o'clock, I do a body weight strength, meaning that I have an upper routine and a lower routine that, uh, that both uh, uh, JT, I'll put up a link, and Sabine, I'll put up a link, have, have helped me navigate on what to do on that. And uh, I'm still sitting at 40% body fat, so it is very hard for me to do like a pull up or things like that. But there are things called progressions where you can work yourself towards that. So as the weight comes down and your strength goes up, somehow you'll meet in the middle and I'm hoping for a flip, right? Because I definitely feel like I'm stronger. Uh, and then I go for either an afternoon cardio. So I do my afternoon body weight strength and then I either do some jump rope or I do a ruck. Um, and, and I'm varying that, right? Meaning that sometimes I'm doing a 30 minute ruck, sometimes I'm doing a 60 minute ruck. And why do I change? It's kind of how I feel. Am I capable? I mean, three activities a day, one swim, which is sort of cardio. I'm not overly trying to maximize my swim. I, I swim more as a, you know, I, I enjoy the activity. It's one of my rules. If you don't enjoy it, then find something else. There's too many things to do in this world, activity-wise, to do something you hate. Do something that's easy. Swim is easy. It's a mile from my house, I, and I enjoy it. Uh, last thing while I've got you on the mic is I'm making these videos, I'm 53, uh, and I've been overweight pretty much my whole adult life. Uh, heavier in moments, not heavier in some, uh, but overweight. And I wanna get this done because as you get older, as you probably know, because I'm making, the intention is that these videos are for other, let's say, 45 to 60 year old men. I'll go in that window because I think once you go over 60, I'm not there yet. I don't know. There's probably some variance. And if you're 45 and you're and you're 300 pounds, you better you better listen up and and face some realities. That uh, if you're happy being 300, more power to you. But reality is that that life that's not a sustainable path that you're on. It's not a sustainable path that I'm on. You look at this belly that I've got. That's 250, you know, 255 pounds. 
40% body fat, 40%, you know, I don't have to be 8%, but, uh, you know, 12%, 15% even, you know, uh, would be, would be a, a, an improvement, right? So some future date, I'll talk about nutrition of what I believe. Nutrition is like religion, you know, it's like everyone's got a fucking opinion about everything and, uh, you know, you've got to figure out that for yourself and you can probably make a lot of things work with timing and things like that. But I have a, I have a certain belief for myself and I'm going to share that down the road. So my, so my, my commitment to myself is that I am going to make seven videos a week. Seven videos, including Saturday and Sunday, even if it's only for a minute or two, I'm gonna click the little camera and tell you that I did okay. And if you want to validate what I'm doing and how I did it, you click the link below, go to my Google Drive spreadsheet thing that I'm gonna type in, and uh, my coach Sabine is gonna be monitoring me, and then uh, that's it. So exercise, nutrition, right? The way I figure it, it's uh, at max I'm eating two meals a day and I'm working out three times. It's five little things I've got to do a day. It's like if you can't get that done for yourself, then <clears throat> you got to rethink your priorities, my friend. Because uh, weight loss, I like to think about it, or weight, carrying around let's say an extra 50 plus pounds. If you're between a 50 and 100, I've got like close to 100 pounds to lose. If you're in that zone, then uh, it's like you're carrying around an open wound, right? And you need to get that healed. If you had a wound, that would be your number one priority. And let me tell you, this um, this weight that we're carrying, it's like, it's like we're wounded. And, and we need to focus on healing. You heal up, and then we can do a lot more to impact other people's lives. That's my message to you today. I hope uh, that if you're sitting there thinking about doing something, my first uh, advice is to walk out the front door and start. You'll figure it out. Just walk out the door and get started. Love you. Talk to you.